blessed start of the day. Good morning, everybody. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I greet all of you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I pray that you all slept well. You are all waking up well, well. Blessed, and you are all having a blessed afternoon or evening. Whatever time it is, wherever you are, by the grace and the mercy of God. Me, I am grateful and thankful to God. My limousine has a problem, so I'm walking to work. Faroka Fira wanted me to wake him up so he can bring me. I said to myself, come on. 20 minutes walk, 10 minutes walk is nothing. I could use it to go to you know, the firewood. Start to strengthen in my legs, but it's just raining a little bit. And all my umbrellas, where every time I take umbrella out of my house, I leave it somewhere. And don't mind this thing on my lip. I was frying oil, they put up. See ya. But anyway, and I saw it. Anyway, let's just thank the Lord for this morning. Yeah, let's just praise Him. No matter what, even in this same rain, we have to glorify Him and give Him all the praise because this same rain is important. Amen. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. Oh, I will sing. Of the goodness of God Cause I know you've been faithful Cause all my life you have been faithful And I know this All my life you have been so, so good So with every breath that I am able Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Idris, I love your voice. Hosanna, you have led me through the fire. And in darkest times, you were close like no other. I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. Oh, I have lived to live in the goodness of your love and grace and mercy and goodness. Cause all my life you have been faithful. Oh, yes, Jesus. All my life you have been so, so So with every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh, I will thank you for your mercy and your love, Jesus. Oh, I will worship you for your grace. And your love, yes, I will. Oh, I will sing of the forgiveness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Let's just thank Him. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we bless your name this day. Lord, we worship you, we exhort you. We magnify you and we lift you. We thank you, God, for who you are and for all you do. We praise you for your mercy, for your kindness, your patience, your preservation and peace, Lord, upon us. It's beyond what words could ever express, Lord. So we are grateful this day. We are so thankful. And before thee, our Father, we surrender ourselves to you mind, body, soul, and spirit, we give ourselves away. We ask that, God, you have your way in our hearts and in our lives. 
as you want, want us, as your people, to be righteous and holy. This morning, again, we stand on your word, Father, my God. As you have said it in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 33, from 1 to 33. You have given us the tools, Lord. What you expect out of us. What is of God, what is not of righteousness, what is evil and what is good. So God, we ask this morning that in our imperfectionness, in our weakness where we all don't know what we are doing, how to go about certain things, we invite you, Jesus. We ask that, God, you have your way. Take over and take full total control. Take charge, Jesus. Search us, Lord. Everything that is not of God, that is not pleasing you, deliver us and set us free, Lord. Anything that does not inherit the kingdom of God is useless to this life, for its ending is already known. The destination and location is the pit of hell where you have made that place for the devil and the fallen angels that decided to disobey you and follow wickedness because the accuser of all brethren thinks life is greater without God and he wanted to be God. Father, we are not gods. As people walk out here in the world using the term gods, king and queen so easily, the fact is that we are not gods, Jehovah Jireh. Neither are we kings and queens. We are kings and queens to one another as husbands and wives. For there is no one who is dear, loving and special to you. And so, such a blessing as a husband or a wife. Because it is a blessing that you said the two, Father my God, both shall leave their parents' house. They'll become one. They make a home for themselves. That even their own children, when they are born out of them, they still never leave one another because the children go to build their own lives. So, Father, there is nothing more dear and more great and of a blessing than that of what you have said, a husband and a wife, because you made the two one. To join together in love, in peace, in kindness, in facing any type of challenge against this evil world and in this same evil dark world. So, God, we ask that you forgive us first. Have mercy on us, for we want to be you so much. Yet, if you would step down on that throne, Father, it would never be a life. Not even one man who claims to be a God, rich, mighty, in whatever caliber they see themselves, can be compared to you. None of them could ever even sit on your throne, fill your shoes, and do that what you do alone as God. So we ask for forgiveness as a people for using that term carelessly, for all of us have contributed, Lord. S standing out here in the world, acting as if we fight men's battles. Even the church, Lord, the term of do not touch the anointed ones has even gone to a place where people misuse it for their own beneficial wicked satisfaction. So we ask for forgiveness and mercy because you said we should be ha holy. We should be like you. We should be truthful. That even when we do wrong, we shall speak the truth, fearing you and knowing that you are there, Lord, before any man is a witness. You are there in each and everything. When we do good and when we do bad, when we lie, when we pretend, and when we do wicked things and evil, there is nothing that we can do that is hidden from your face, from your sight. That is a lie that we believe in our own selves that doesn't make sense. So God, we ask for mercy. We ask for forgiveness, and we ask that you help us to inherit the kingdom of God, to possess the fruits of the, of the Holy Spirit, and not the fruitless fruit of darkness and works and deeds of evil. No, Jesus, help us. Father, we are weak without you. You know all of us personally and individually what we are fighting and what is the biggest problem we are dealing with? God of Abraham, we ask you, the helper who is our helping hand, the one we look to, who is our confident, our helper, our protector, guide, and keep. We invite you, Father, to have your way, to take full total control, to take charge, 
to deliver us and uproot every evil works that is in us. Yes, Father, every demon that is still manifesting, it needs to die. For let you, Father, come and live in all of us so that we are able to live a life where we don't have to fake, where we don't have to act, and where we don't have to pretend. Because we know that it is possible to live a peaceful life, to live a holy life, and to also live a happy life without us lying, pretending, acting, stealing or faking. That life we desire, that kind of life we long for, that life we pray for in you, God, we ask that you help us as your people, as your children. We invite you, Holy Spirit, come in. Come in, be our strength, be our guide and be our will. Help us. Set us free, Lord. Set us free even from our own selves, Lord. The self-sabotaging of keeping to go back every time we build a righteous relationship. That we ourselves, we use our very own body, which is your temple, to go and commit that is of darkness. We refuse it and we reject it. So God, this day we surrender everything before thee. We invite you and we will come in into our lives our minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. We submit, Lord, asking you, Lord Jesus Christ, to have your way, to take over. Holy Spirit, teach us. We are willing, Lord, and we are ready. And no matter how long it takes, we shall not give up. And we shall not be confident in sin, just as David knew every time he did wrong, to come and seek forgiveness and change and not repeat the same thing. Father, we long and thirst for that mind, that spirit of truth, of repentance, of healing, of deliverance, and of peace. And we know that we cannot find it in this world or in men. It is only you, God, who gives that. So God of Shadrach, have your way. Let your will and your purpose be done. We surrender everything to you, Lord. We cover our going out and our coming in. We cover our loved ones, Lord, our children and our husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, nieces and nephews. We surrender them before you. We ask that God have your way. Let your will and your purpose be done. Fill our homes, our marriages, our children, our every environment up. Fill it up, Lord. Fill it up with your presence. Help us to forgive, to be kind, to be patient, to be loving, to be gentle and to be peaceful. God, we surrender all of this only to you. We trust and believe, knowing that there is no other greater God and there is no one above you. You are worthy to be praised. We thank you and we praise you for your covenant, your love upon us, for who you are to us and for how you love us. It is through the name of your son, Jesus, that we pray. And we surrender all of this in Jesus' mighty name, the son of the living God. Have your way upon the earth and throughout all creation. There is not even a prayer that is enough that we could submit everything. But we know that with one word, when we say everything, everything is right at the palm of your hands. You see it, you are in control, you are in charge, and you hold it. As, it be, as big as it sounds to us men, it's that small at the palm of your hands. So we thank you, Jehovah Rapha, in Jesus' mighty name, the Son of the living God. Amen, amen, amen. I surrender all to you. And everything I give to you, Lord, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Sister Sharon, amen, amen, amen. God bless all of you, my brothers and sisters. I'm already late. Like I told you, something is wrong with my limousine. And the walk was really good. I enjoy it anyway. 
I'll see you people by the way and the grace of God. Have a blessed day. Let's continue to praise and worship our God. And remember, God is faithful and good always. Love all of you and Jesus loves all of you more. I'll see you people make a carry the go. Idris, love you. Love you all my brothers and sisters. Bye-bye.